Blessed love to each and every one. Of course, you know, we're giving thanks to Emperor Haile Selassie the first in all doings and sayings. Of course, you're in the tiger's nest. Honorable Priest Isaac here with you. Of course, we're going to have a wonderful moment together. I'm actually on my way to the shock of the hour radio program, but I decided to pass by the tiger's nest here and somewhat share some broken news with you. Some people call it breaking news, but it's broken already. So we're bringing some broken news and, and it's actually all, you know, concerned with this year's summer solstice experience. I'm sure that many of you are preparing to join us. Remember it's this Thursday now, it all begins this Thursday, the 17th day of June from Thursday, the 17th to Sunday, the 20th. And remember, it's Friday morning. I hope you have all of this written down. It's Friday morning. We are having the sunrise hike. That's the morning hike to the megaliths that align with the heavens. We have been going into that whole aspect of the Archeo Astronomy link with Greencastle Hill. So I'm sure that the audience is well filled with the information as it relates to that. So now it's time to come and sit with us and hike with us. Well, you may be sitting because it's the virtual experience. That means you don't have to get up and leave wherever you are in the world. You're in France. You're, where are you? You're in St. Vincent. You're in Trinidad. You're in Florida. It's all right. You can join us on the morning hike on Friday. You can join us on the sunset hike. I'm talking about Sunday. That's the 20th going into the summer solstice. And right now, I want to talk about Thursday. Now, remember, Thursday is going to be the cannabis tour. Thursday is going to be the cannabis lecture. Thursday is going to be the Rastafari chalice talk. Although we have the 18th here, it's going to be Thursday the 17th. And all of this is very interesting because today, today being the 14th, I'm going to go into this right now. They officially issued the first marijuana, medical marijuana license specifically. This is to grow Antigua. I'm going to give you all the details right now, and you're going to see how all of this is connected with our cannabis tour on Thursday. As I said, this is all virtual. Well, it's actual too, but most of you, you're not here in Antigua with us, so you got to be viewing everything virtually. But trust me, it's definitely worth it. Now, listen to this and follow this with your brother. Let me just make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. All right, let's go. On time now for us to talk about that major developing story today, a momentous one indeed, because it is a move aimed at diversifying the economy. The first medicinal marijuana license has been issued, marking Antigua and Barbuda's foray into a multi-billion dollar global industry. That's right, Garfield. Grow Antigua and Barbuda is the beneficiary at a time when the country is poised to up the ante in this area. Officials are bullish on the prospects for the transformative impact which, is, which this industry is set to have on the economy, as we hear from our own Cheryl and Visa. The day represented the endorsement of a plant that can create significant medical, economic and social integration benefits to this country and its people. The first recipient of a medicinal marijuana license is Grow Antigua and Barbuda. It is a public-private hybrid operation that includes the government, Rastafari communities, and private enterprise as central stakeholders. And I think we really have to look at what the industry is here, what, what, what size it is, what do we need, what is the market, what do we need to supply it, and then definitively look to regional markets where we can trade technology and, and material between islands. The Cannabis Authority reveals it is currently reviewing more than five applications for licenses. The value of these five applications are more than $30 million. The total number of persons that are predicted to be employed if these five businesses eventually reach to their licensing stage will be more than 200 persons. Chairman of the Medicinal Cannabis Authority, Ambassador Davin Joseph, adds this major yield will require no more than 30 acres of land. 
The MCA chairman says the projection is for the industry to contribute at least 10% to economic output in the next 5 to 10 years. The government, he says, intends to have local content and local ownership in every enterprise established in the cannabis industry. For Prime Minister Honorable Gaston Brown, this was a proud moment as he has always maintained that the first license to be granted must include the Rastafari community. He had this recommendation for the community to reinvest its profits wisely. One would expect, for example, that maybe right here you can have your little smokehouse, you bring the tourists and so on, they can do a little tour of the facility here, look at the shade houses with all of the plants, the whole processing, and as soon as they enter the gate, they pay your 10 US. The global medicinal marijuana is valued upwards of $30 billion and is expected to grow at an annual rate of 28%. This is why Prime Minister Brown says the country has to get ahead of the curve and generate a sustainable and profitable industry. We hope that this partnership will be a sustaining partnership. Obviously, it will take some time for the business to mature and to make sustainable profits. So you have to be careful not to be making demands too early and obviously to try and plow back as much of the profits to expand the business and even to diversify into other areas. Uh, thank you so much, Cheryl, in ending that report. Now, meanwhile, Agriculture Minister Honorable Samantha Marshall also spoke at that ceremony and she used the occasion to again amp up the call for increased local production. We've already begun some work in the Cades Bay area, yes. pre-seller, yes. and we are also looking at give, getting them some grant access to grant funds to ensure that that area is transformed, not just into agriculture, but into an ecotourism sector. All right, definitely give thanks once again for the life given, the keep of life. So there you have it, uh, my family for sure. I'm not going to say that much on it tonight, at least not now, as I said. We're definitely en route to the shock of the hour radio program. Definitely hope you'll be joining us tonight. If you don't know about the shock of the hour program, this is a program we do every evening. Definitely it is an online program. You could be a subscriber to the shock of the hour and you would receive it every single evening. So for example, if you are a shock of the hour subscriber in a few hours, the, the shock of the hour program would be right in your inbox and you would definitely sit in and sup in with us and we take it to another level. But I think this was definitely clear. I think you have a clear understanding. This is something we saw coming. So just to be um, pellucid once more. So we're talking about a, a collaboration between a specific company, the government of Antigua and Barbuda and the Rastafari community. And you have Grow Antigua. This is the official organization that has been formed here. And the first official medical marijuana license have been issued and of course this is the the headquarters of where uh, all of the action should be taking place now let me highlight this and bring this home to even our summer solstice this experience what you're seeing here this is not the rastafari community specifically i want to make this clear as i said we are visionaries so we could see this a long time coming Several years now, you hear us from the very moment that they spoke about decriminalizing uh, marijuana and the cannabis here in Antigua. You've heard us speaking about, you know, our cannabis educational lecture. This is something we do not just during the solstices and the equinoxes, you know. Anyone that comes and visits us here in Antigua and we take them on tours and we take them to Greencastle Hill, we always give them a cannabis lecture and tour edifying them on the, the whole aspects of the, the tree of life, as I refer to it as, not just its properties and its medicinal benefits, but the culture of it and the sacredness of it. So that is all a part of the Rastafari experience, Antigua experience. Of course, you know, that is a company that was formed by myself and the Honorable Rastre, that is Rastafari Experience Antigua. I know I'm giving you so many different names and so many different companies, but it's all right. This is what it's all about. It's about business. So this Grow Antigua and Barbuda, what it is definitely um, opening the door to now is business, really. Business on a, on a serious level. 
of course, obviously government is involved. You understand, and we already know how that is. So we're just hoping that everything could be straight and transparent for real. This is what they, I mean. We ain't pulling no side with nobody. You know, we just talk it how it is. Who vex? I mean, is up to them. I said we are just hoping that this can be clear and transparent, and you know, thou shall not, and thou shall not, and we just keep the thing on a balance, and everything will be good. So what I'm saying now, my family, keep in mind, just in case. You may not know, within Antigua, the Rastafari community, obviously, there's a prime minister here, um, the Honorable Gaston Brown. And this is one of the chief elders in the land, King Sagaifu, as you see, pulling his, his um, uh, telephone chalice telephone chalice there and the prime minister right next to him i mean that's how it is now for sure 10 years ago not like that would be happening but that is the case now because what has happened antigua is one of those many countries one of the many countries that have decriminalized marijuana or cannabis to some degree and the decriminalization here is is um i think it's four trees and 15 grams. I can't never remember that because for sure that ain't got nothing to do with me. And it never had neither, you know, whether it was decriminalized, illegalized or whatever. And I didn't even know what grams was. Grams sound to me like you're selling something else. But anyway, the point is for sure, within the Rastafari community, there is immunity as it relates to any persecution of the marijuana, whether it's more than four trees. So the four trees is for everyone. Anyone can have four trees in their yards and a certain amount of cannabis, you know, for sure. We, we don't really, um, we, that's not what we stand for, you know, at least not me. This is a plant that should be free in general. That, that, that's really what I stand for, but for sure, the case is where it is now as far as Rastafari. Rastafari has fought for this, you know, and we're still fighting for it, you know. We're still fighting that because, as they say, Rastafari is immune, you know, but the, the, the population is not. And we're still fighting and we fight for everyone. But now we see it gone to another level, industrial wise, which is really where it should be. As I said, Rastafari has suffered much for this. And to be honest, Rastafari should not just be getting a piece of the pie but man should be able to bake their pie. And this is why now we have an industrial head on our body. I'm sure you just heard the prime minister speak about when the tourists come. This is what he just said. Eh? When the tourists come, you should you know, have a little smokehouse and you charge them a little 10 US and all of that to mm, come and do whatever it is they have to come and do. And basically, well, I, I, I wouldn't sell it so cheap really, but that is what you see us do here. Mind your business, that's our program. Mind your business is all about you know, being economical and, and Rastafara in general to me should have a more a more outlook as it relates to the economy and, and wealth building and, and, and not just national wealth, but, but generational wealth. That's something that we don't even think about. We, we big on the generational poverty stuff before. Is, that's what we do in a pass on poverty, you know, man, before we meditate on generational wealth, you know. So basically that is what we're doing. Yeah, that is what we're doing. So the same thing the prime minister is talking about, we are already doing it here. So we have the virtual experience now. So you, my family, those of you who are not here in Antigua, Thursday, you have the opportunity to come with us, not to this place you just saw. I didn't even see a, a, a seed in the ground yet. But at the, at the, at the Rastafari community, definitely, those of you who were with us in the spring equinox, I see some of you are already on board and ready for the summer solstice. Those, some of those um, seedlings that you saw in the ground, you're gonna be looking at some massive plants on Thursday. Yeah, you're gonna see the industry booming. You're gonna see the Rastafari community booming. We're gonna spend about two hours with the Rastafari. That's Thursday now. We're not going up on the hill Thursday. We're going up on the hill Friday morning. That's another two or two, half, two and a half hour event. So we already gone five hours there between Thursday and Friday morning. And, and we're not even done yet. Plus you're gonna return Sunday, Sunday afternoon at four o'clock, you're gonna return. Those of you who, who purchase, you know, your spot, of course, we're going to send you the itinerary so you know exactly when to click in. And Thursday, when you return, this time we're doing the sunset hike, where you'll watch the sun going down, specifically in the most northern aspect of the heavens. 
you know, that's the sun coming out of the, the bull going into Gemini. What a wonderful spectacle that will be. And that is the full package for this year's summer solstice experience. Now, of course, I'm not even going into the signs of Greencastle Hill. I think you have that well covered by now. I wanted to just, you know, highlight what is taking place business-wise here in Antigua. Even when we did the previous tour of, 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 of the, the Rastafari camp, and, and, and you saw all the acres of marijuana. Some of you flipped. Some of you said you've never seen nothing like that in your life. We give thanks, you know. And many of you even wanted to even invest for sure. And as you could see, it is going on another level here. And, and this is where we're carrying it pure business-wise. So my family, for sure, you want to be a part of this. Remember, space is still available. The full package is only $100, not for a day, you know, a hundred dollars for the whole three days. Now listen to this. I have something special for you. Now the 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 our our grill Paddy Simon. He's going to be with us on on Sunday. Now I did an interview with Brother Paddy Simon today, and for whatever reason, you know, the interview did not record. But I don't feel no way. I mean, that's our Brother Paddy Simon, and I promised the audience that I was going to bring that interview tonight. And, 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 you know, I can't deliver, but I don't feel no way because listen, no worry. I'm going to give it one. Uh, 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 I'm going to take it one shot better for you. Brother Paddy Simon, eh? he is going to be with us on Sunday. I am talking for the, the, the summer solstice tour, and he's going to be giving a dynamic lecture. Listen to me, family. Now, I know all of you are not going to be there. You all should be there, but you're all not going to be there. Those of you who are not there, after his presentation Sunday, I am going to come back and give you, uh, maybe I'm going to give you a good amount of his presentation. I can't give you all. And trust me, he's going to be talking for a long time. I mean, hours worth of history and information from the elder. Because the interview I did with him today was just like a 15, 20 minutes. That's what, that's what I would have given you. But because I could not, you know, fulfill that, I said, it's okay. I'm going to even give you more than I would have given you tonight. So you're going to get a good taste of what Brother Paddy Simon has to offer. But you're going to get that maybe Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Unless, unless you are there for the full package. All right, let me just highlight this. This is something very special I'm offering to each and every one. Tomorrow evening, that's tomorrow, Tuesday the 15th, I'll be doing a very special online lecture. This is Green Castle Hill, the spirit of Antigua. This is an online lecture. It's going to be very short. It's about an hour. And this is totally free, totally free. So you can register by emailing me, precise at 27 at gmail.com. Totally free. I send you the link. And tomorrow, Tuesday, 15th, I'm talking about 8 p.m. You just join us. This has this is not the tour, you know. This is a free lecture. And I'll be showing you the mistakes. I know many of you have seen the lecture we did on the YouTube, but this is going to be slightly different for sure. We are highlighting Green Castle Hill, no price whatsoever. You could just come and join this lecture. That's tomorrow evening, 8 p.m. Just email me or visit the Facebook page, Rastafara Experience Antigua, and the link will be there. But the link is not on the Facebook pages yet, not until tomorrow morning for sure. So you could still email me and once I see your email I will just give you the link straight forward definitely but anyway as I said we definitely got to be getting to the shock of the hour radio program and on the shock of the hour I'll be talking a bit more as it relates to this situation here the first medical marijuana license is you did Antigua hey give thanks holy money will I Selassie I ja. Rastafari. One more thing, remember, all payments can be made using the Cash App, and we always have the link in the description below. Selassie. Ja, Rastafari. Blessed love.